Here's a short video about the Fluke 289 multimeter. Um, this particular one had a fault where when it was powered up, uh, even with no test leads plugged in, there was a warning beep and uh, it was indicating that the wrong leads were connected. So I looked online, uh, there's an EEV blog uh, forum post about uh, the infrared optics used to detect the leads plugged in. So I investigated this and uh, this is what I found. So you need to disassemble the case and uh, you can take the board out and then the optics are down the bottom of the board. I'll point out the relevant parts. So you've got an infrared emitter and two infrared um, photo detectors. Uh, in my case the LED was, was soldered on the board. I know a lot of people on the EV blog uh, forum said that they found that the LED had actually come off the PCB uh, so in, in my case that was not the problem. Um, what I did is I set up a current limit power supply uh, to about 10 milliamps and about uh, 3 volts and using the um, identifier on the silk screen I applied the um, uh, power supply across the terminals of the LED and then using an old digital camera which doesn't have an IR filter I looked for uh, the, the, the blue glow of the LED and uh, there was nothing so I knew that the, the LED was not working. So um, I found a suitable replacement part, it's a, it's a King Bright part, I shall put the part number in the description, um, soldered it back in and that fixed my problem. Now just uh, for further interest I did uh, a bit of measuring, um, if you put a scope on here you find that there's a, a pulse, about a 200 microsecond pulse. So with it in operation, you can't actually see the infrared uh, with a digital camera because it's, it's, too, it's too short a pulse. The, the duty cycle is very short. Um, the receivers, the photo receivers, the photo transistors, have some buffering circuit. In fact, here's one of the, the buffers up here. Um, the other one, the buffers on the other side. There's some drive circuitry um, for the LED, which is um, on the opposite side as well. It's just a, a drive transistor. Um, what you'll find if you have to replace the LED is the King Bright part has uh, a triangle um, written on the bottom of the part, and this corresponds to the, uh, the diode symbol, which matches with the symbol in the silk screen. Okay, and that all works correctly. Now, the other thing to note is you cannot test it out um, with the PCB out of the case and the reason for this is they use a light guide in the case. The light guide takes the infrared which is uh, emitted upwards, uh, I think the viewing angle is about 120 degrees and then it deflects it sideways to the two receivers um, and in fact if you look inside the case you can see um, the wave gu uh, sorry, the uh, light guide down the bottom um, and then the the detectors will then see whether the infrared is passing through. There are actually shrouds on the inside, you can see uh, there, um, the shrouds, and I did wonder how the infrared was getting through, but if you look really closely, you can't really see in the video, there are actually small holes, and the, the infrared does actually go through the holes to the, to the phototransistors, so that when you put the lead in, the shrouded lead in, it blocks those and that's how it knows that the leads are plugged into the ammeter inputs. So um, I hope that's uh, of some use. If you do want to power the meter up um, without the batteries, which is what I did, you can connect a couple of leads um, to these two points. So I put the positive supply of nine volts DC on the left-hand side of this polyfuse and I just uh, tacked on to the end of this tant for the uh, not volt return. Um, you don't need anything else connected. I did disconnect um, the sounder, I just desoldered that so that the buzzing didn't drive me mad whilst I was doing the early investigation. Um, don't forget to solder it back down when you've finished. Um, and hopefully that should uh, fix your problem. As I say, I'll put the part numbers in the uh, description um, and that should help you out. Thanks then.